Remember the proximal humerus upper end the regimental batch sign is there. Right? That's the axillary nerve. Around the shaft of humerus, the radial nerve will get damaged, causing wrist drop. Behind the medial epicondyle, the ulnar nerve will get damaged, causing the ulnar claw hand because there is paralysis of lumbricals, which make a L in your hand. Tuck! L in your hand, lumbricals. The lateral two are supplied by the median nerve. The ulnar two are supplied by the ulnar nerve. This is the action of lumbricals. Their paralysis causes claw hand. Hyperextension of metacarpophalangeal joint and flexion of the interphalangeal joint. And when you apply a splint to flex them, replicate the action of lumbricals. It's called as knuckle bender splint because you're bending the metacarpophalangeal joint, the knuckles. Called as a knuckle bender splint. Right around the head of radius, you have a complete motor branch of the radial nerve called as posterior interosseous nerve, which will cause finger drop. Radial nerve, wrist drop and finger drop. Posterior interosseous nerve, a pure branch, only the finger drop, right? And when you come to the lower limb, behind the hip, in posterior hip dislocation, the sciatic nerve is damaged. And in today's world, the most common question asked, around the neck of fibula, the common peroneal nerve is paralyzed, causing the foot drop, which is very, very important. Coming to the test for the nerve injuries, ulnar nerve and median nerve, their tests are important because the test of radial nerve are not there because there is no test for the radial nerve because the radial nerve is the most commonly damaged nerve. It has the best prognosis and anything which has the best prognosis is never tested. Right? So the tests for the ulnar nerve are the CART test for palmar introsia, the Igawa test for the dorsal introsia, the book test for adductor pollicis, the Froment sign, if it is paralyzed, called as FU, Froment sign, ulnar nerve, and the Wartenberg sign, the abducted little finger for ulnar nerve. Whereas when we talk about median nerve, there's one test called as pointing index. You make a fist, these two fingers stand out, that's pointing index, also called as a benediction attitude, also called as a Oshner class test. For other tests for median nerve, you have a pen test. If you give pen over the palm and you ask the patient to touch it, he will not be able to touch it. It means there is abductor pollicis brevis which is paralyzed. And the last test for the median nerve is the ape thumb deformity. The thumb is supposed to do opposition. If it comes in the same plane as palm, that is paralysis of the median nerve, loss of apposition because ape thumb deformity. For radial nerve, there is no test. All right. So this is what you should see. These images are showing you ulnar or radial nerve palsies causing claw hand. And if you are asked about the claw hand, Mark ulnar nerve more than median nerve, knuckle bender splint ulnar more than median because ulnar nerve palsies are more common than the median nerve palsy.